Using Creative Fabrica Studio, you can create your own fonts. Yes, the font generator is now live, bringing the first ever AI-powered tool that lets users create and download installable TrueType fonts in just seconds. How does this work? Let's jump in. Okay, I've logged in here to Creative Fabrica Studio, and I'm gonna go on here to start designing right here in the middle. And here we can see our main page and we've got Studio Flow Vectorizer Background Remover. And look down here, Font Generator. Generate your own custom font. Let's click on this. Okay, now when you get to the main page, you're gonna see some stuff here at the top. These are the main menu items for Creative Fabrica Studio. You're going to see a plus button on the left-hand side. Generate a font with a little arrow. And then you're gonna see some credits over here as well. I've got 5,000 credits that are sitting here. Okay, so I do wanna point out that the tool is free to use. You just need to have a free Creative Fabrica account. So I highly recommend that you sign up today for a free Creative Fabrica account. I'll put a link in the video description, just a heads up. It is an affiliate link. That just means if you do choose to buy something in the future from Creative Fabrica, I would receive a small commission. All right, and it does cost 1,000 credits to download a font but it doesn't cost anything to just create one. So if you don't like the way it looks, not a big deal. Let's jump in here and I'll show you exactly how this works. I'm gonna start off by clicking this little arrow button right here. And we can see there's a name now at the top, my decorative font, your generation, and then we've got custom text here. And you can change this custom text as well if you wanna see exactly how something would look like a signature. I do wanna point out I've actually done nothing so far except click that button. So this has all been generated right out of the gates here. You can also rename this my decorative font. You could name this Zen water cooler font, for example, that's me. And then you've got the font sitting here now off to the side. Down below, you'll see there's individual glyphs that have been created. So an individual letter or number, that's a glyph. So when you click on it, you can see exactly how this looks as far as height and width goes. And you can even regenerate it. So if I wanna download this font, I can click the download button and that'll cost me a thousand coins here. But if I want to discard the font and return the thousand coins, that's fine. Now all Access members do get to generate for free. So you can try this out. You can generate five fonts and download them even for free. But if you're an All Access member, you can do unlimited. Okay, so you can also test this out with colors. So I'm gonna click the color palette over here. We've got different colors that'll pop up. You can also change the size of it as well. You can make it larger. And if you don't like an individual glyph, let's for, say for example, this eye, I can click the regenerate button and it's now made a slightly different glyph. So you could really modify any of these. For example, maybe the Z, you don't like this, or the Z, depending on what country you're from, I'll click Regenerate, and it makes it look slightly different. Now, if you do generate a bunch of different glyphs, you'll notice a little arrow button to the left and to the right. You can scroll through. So for example, if I like this glyph the best, I can click Accept, and that now changes what the glyph looks like here in the glyph palette on the left-hand side. Now, if you don't like this font, and you don't want to download it, you can click the discard font and it'll take you right back to the beginning here. Now, as exciting as this font generator is, it is in beta testing stage. And what that means is it's gonna be free for the month of February. So go ahead and give it a try. Another thing to note is that at the top here, there's not really an option for you to type anything in. You just click this button and it just generates a font from scratch. You can see down below the little robot is working and the artificial intelligence is now generating a font. In the future, you'll have an option to specify the type of script that you would like to have. Another feature that'll be available is you'll be able to type in into the artificial intelligence interface specifics about the font. But you can see here very quickly, I've generated four different fonts and on the left hand side, I can click on them and I can see they're all radically different. So you can create this as many times as you like. Now let's cover how to download a font. This can sometimes trip up people if you're not super familiar with the process. So I am going to download this font right here. And I've got a name here at the top called My Decorative Font. Now you'll notice whatever font you create, it's always gonna to default to My Decorative Font. So you wanna change this name. It's really important to change this name when you're gonna download it because this becomes the name of your actual font. So it's pretty easy to edit the font name. You just simply click somewhere inside here and then you can start using the backspace key or the delete key and then you can type in something else. So I'm gonna type in, for example, wow font. That's gonna be the name, I just made this up. And now I can click the download button on the right hand side. 
All right, and on a Windows computer, you're gonna see now the file name's gonna pop up here in Windows Explorer. I've got wow font as my name. I did not type this in. That's the default name because I changed it inside of Creative Fabrica Studio. It's a TTF file, which is a true type font file, and I'm gonna click the save button. So you wanna make sure that you know where you saved it. So you'll typically click in your browser button here. You can pop open your downloads, wherever you download your fonts, and then you can pop open that folder. Now I happen to have a fonts folder that I use and I've just downloaded into that. Now to install the font is pretty straightforward. You can just double click and it'll pop open this window and this will show you the exact font that you're downloading. It's called Wow Font and I'm gonna click install. It'll just take a second, it'll install and now I'm inside of Microsoft Word. I'm gonna click the font button. I'm gonna go right down to the W's and I'm gonna look for Wow Font and there it is right there. Wow font. I'm going to click it and now I can start typing random words and we can see that it'll come up. How beautiful a font is that? It's amazing that it's right inside of Word or Excel. I do want to point out this does come with a flexible commercial license so feel free to use Creative Fabrica Studio and make some good side hustle income in the meantime. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using Creative Fabrica Studio. There's all sorts of really neat tools and design elements inside of it. I highly recommend signing up for it today. Link is in the video description below. Here's another video where you can have some fun using Creative Fabrica Studio.